And hello, Chugs Army. Happy Hair Down Monday, everybody. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Chapman. Sarah. Celtic. Hello, Kiana. Yes, you get to watch today. Amazing. Amazing. Dino, what's going on? G-Dog, Luke, Aerobat, T-Dizzle, Red Joker, Sharpshooter, Shadow Drifter, Russell, Allie, Patty, Whistle, In Tiny Lines, hello. Fight, Dasty, um, Man, Brogue, Too Shy, Love the Game, what's going on? Chugs Army, hello. Hello, hello. Happy Hair Down Monday. Happy start to the week. Hope everyone's having a great start to their week. Also, want to say, again, Chugs Army, thank you for bearing with me. I know today was kind of uncertain for a minute. I completely forgot, completely forgot about this appointment I had. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, no, oh my God, this is going to mess everything up. Uh, but fortunately, it was not that long. And I was able to get back here at a reasonable time. Now, unfortunately, we're only able to stream for two hours today. But as we say here in the Chugs Army, um, a stream at all is absolutely better than no streams. So welcome everyone to stream 797. So close to stream 800. Welcome everyone to stream 797. And today is part seven of Resident Evil Revelations 2. We are finally returning uh, to the world of survival horror with Resident Evil Revelations 2. This is my first playthrough of this game. I think I'm pretty far into the game, so I'm fairly confident that before... Heck, we might even beat it before stream 800, but I'm definitely confident that we'll be able to beat it before FF7 Rebirth, which is now 10 days away. Oh my god, we're... I can't even bear it. I can't even bear it. I'm so excited. Um, but yes, very excited to return to this game today. Very, very excited. Uh, it's been a wild ride B between the, us beating Lies of P recently and then us beating Final Fantasy 16 and also uh, playing and beating the DLC. But now finally returning to this game. Very, very excited about it. Very, very pumped. There was something else I wanted to say. It'll, it'll come to me. It, it'll come to me. But thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, yes, just reminding everybody, just in case, just in case if you uh, if you missed it. So, um, Stream 800 will most likely, like 99% sure, yeah, these are the two things I wanted to say. So, just a reminder, Stream 800 will probably begin around noon, 12 p.m. Eastern on Friday. On Friday, just as a heads up. We have one more hint that will happen at stream 799, I'll give one more hint, but uh, also in addition to stream 800 coming up. So tomorrow on the Chugs Twitter or X account, I'm I'm going to do the first poll, which will be a list of games, four games um, that will compete against each other. So if you're interested in voting for what game I play on stream 800, please uh, feel free to, to post your vote there. Um, and I'll make sure and remind everyone in the Discord and stuff as well. But that would be the first poll, which once again will be a list of four games. The winner of that poll will stay. Then on Wednesday, we'll do another poll of four games, four different games. And then the winner of that one will go against the winner of poll number one to determine what game we play on Stream 800. It's going to be a wide variety of games, a wide variety of genres. Um, but whatever wins, whatever you guys want to see the most, that's the game that we're going to play on, on Friday. So um, the first poll will be tomorrow. And then the refreshed Song of the Day poll will also be posted on Thursday. Um, so that way, if you guys want to get your votes in for, for a brand new Song of the Day that we can restart, I'll make sure and post that on, on Thursday as well. So yeah, I think that was what I wanted to say. I think Yeah, th that was definitely it. That was definitely it. Mill City. <laughs> Thank you for 30 months at Tier 1. Thank you so much for the 30th month of being in the best community on Twitch. I am so proud to be in this community. I haven't been active lately due to me moving into my first place. I took a huge step in my life um, for this. As always, tell the DMD I said hello. Mill City, thank you very, very much for 30 months at Tier 1. I absolutely will let her know. But most importantly, dude, we get some hype in the chat. Mill City, that's a huge step. A huge step. And that's so exciting to move into your first place. That is like the coolest thing. That is the absolute coolest thing. One of the coolest steps in life that you can take. So Mill City, congratulations. That's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm pumped for you. And again, thank you for 30 months at tier one. Boxy, 
Thank you for 31 months with Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you. Dan, thank you for 13 months at Tier 1. Um, Gim, thank you for three months with Twitch Prime. Hope you're doing well, Chug. Same to you. Uh, life is kind of rough right now, but you always cheer me up with your streams. Thanks for that. Stay strong, Chug's Army. Let's enjoy uh, this month and joy of fun. Gim, thank you very much. So, so glad that the streams can be helpful. Um, really, really appreciate it. Once again, you're always welcome here. Today's stream, even though it's only going to be a couple of hours, will be a fun one. So hopefully that'll take your mind off things and hopefully you can get, uh, sit back and relax and enjoy some Resident Evil. Thank you very much for three months. Chris, thank you for five months with Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate that. <laughs> Benjamin, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, closing in on midnight for me, but need to hang out with the Chugs Army for a bit before bed. Kong, let's go, dude. I, I know you've probably got to be sleepy, so I totally understand if you got to go and go to bed. We all need our rest. We all need our rest. But Benjamin, I appreciate you hanging out for a little bit uh, tonight. And hopefully, hopefully Resident Evil doesn't scare you, you know, before bed. <laughs> Benjamin, thank you very much. Thanks for hanging with us tonight. Um, Nivik, thank you for 39 months at Tier 1. Hello, hello. Um, Sharpshooter, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, so I believe you owe you uh, and the crew an update on my grandma. Um, bad news, I was... It, Bad news is I was transparent in uh, what she came down with. It was um, COVID. The good news, she's out of the hospital and beat it. Thank you so much, Chugs, for hearing me out uh, and offering prayers to her. You and the Chugs Army, uh, she says hello and thank you for all the well wishes. She appreciated it and so did I and all of my family. Much love to all and thanks for your hope. Sharpshooter, let's go, baby. This is a combination of stuff. We're going to put some... Some hearts in the chat, some hugs from Chugs, and most importantly, some hype. Sharpshooter, that is amazing, amazing news. So, so glad to hear um, that your grandmother is out of the hospital and she's doing well and she beat it. Um, that is absolutely incredible. Um, again, still much love to you and much love to your grandmother as well. So that's awesome. That is awesome. What's up, GLHF? Also, Chugs Army, thank you for the level one hype train on this beautiful hair down Monday. Now, I know today's stream is a little shorter, but there still is... Shoot, I was about to say, there still is class. So, hopefully, I don't think today's will be um, too long or anything. Coming, Professor Chugs, one second. Um, but, yeah, there is still class today. There is still class. It, I, but I think at this point, you guys are just l learning, you know? So, it's nothing to stress out about. Yeah, I'll be right there. Okay, okay, I... He he does. He never misses a day. Okay, I'll be I'll be right back. What do you think? Army of Chugs? What do you think? Guess who's got their hair hanging low? That that's it's hair hanging low day. That's how it is. That's how it is, right? I'm there. I welcome everyone to story time with Professor Chugs, and it's hair hanging low day. How how is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Celtic, your hair is up. Well, you better you better get that hair hanging low. That's that's what I'm saying. That's what you. Thank you, Jay, bro. I am a cool. I'm a very cool professor. Very very cool. But I know it's the start to the week, and there's no better way to start your week than with some education. Than with some education. And also, because it is hair hanging low day, um, if we could also um, raise the roof in the text log for our good friend Korok, who has a little, um, there's, a, there's a little version of Korok in the text log that I just discovered yesterday, um, which, is, which is fascinating. If you guys could show me, there it is, there it is. Korok, you're, you're there dancing, you're, you're moving and grooving is what you're doing. Yep, there's a there's a little Korok in there. A, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Hey, Korok, do you know that there's a little version of me in the text log as well? It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, Korok, Korok thinks it's cool, for sure. Korok thinks it's cool. But you know what's cooler? I'll tell you what's cooler. The second edition of the video games textbook. The second edition. Once again, Army of Chugs. We are going through chapter two currently. We are going to read this book front to back. We're going to take multiple quizzes. And you did me proud last time, Army of Chugs. You did me proud. 
So we'll see how you do on this one. But again, right now we're learning about the technical specifications of what makes a video game. And today's, uh, today's chapter is, is short and sweet. Today we're going to go over bits and bytes. Bits and bytes. So <clears throat> here we go. Army of Chugs, are you ready? Are you ready? I know it could be distracting because t today you let your hair hang low. It's, it's that day. It's hair hang low day, but it is still story time with Professor Chug. So here we go. <clears throat> Bits and bites. Settle, settle down in there. Settle down in there. Nope. Little, little Korok is, is, is dancing a little too much. He's, dan he's dancing a little too much. It's, it's time to pay it. It's, it's time to work. Yeah, you're ready. You guys are ready. Okay. Bits and bites. <clears throat> While not a new term for computer uh, techies, it was not until around the third generation of video games, mid to late 1980s, that the average gamer began speaking in bits in anticipation of the upcoming 16-bit consoles. That is true. A bit is just an abbreviated word for binary digit. Every bit is either a zero or a one collectively known as binary code. The basis for binary code was discovered by Gottfried uh, Leibniz in 1679, illustrated in his article um, Explication de la Arithmetique Biniere. Maybe my pronunciation may have been bad on that one. <clears throat> binary code is how all computer processing instructions are written using combinations of the binary digits zero and one. Zeros represent the command off or no, while ones represent the command on or yes. By themselves, these are only two distinct commands. The millions of combinations of those two commands given in series are what makes a computer work. Combinations of bits are called strings. Table 2.1 illustrates the simple formula for writing numbers in binary code. When a one is added to a one, as it is to make the number two, the next bit becomes zero, i.e. number two equals 10 in binary code. Add another one and the next bit becomes a one, i.e. number three equals 11 in binary code. Note how once all ones are used in a string, another bit is added with a string of zeros and the sequence continues. Eight bits grouped together form a byte and it is the size... So Eight bits grouped together form a byte, and it is this size string that is usually used to represent an alphabetic character. The letter A, for instance, is an 8-bit character written like this. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. When you type the letter A on your keyboard, electrical signals are sent from the keyboard to the CPU. The CPU turns the signals into binary code. Then the computer reads the code and sends it on the monitor to display the letter A. Larger strings of bytes in metric multiplies or multiples of 1,000 are given new names. For example, 1,000 bytes is called a kilobyte, or KB, and 1,000 kilobytes equals a megabyte, or MB. See table 2.2 for these and other common values of bytes. So that's how huge games have gotten, by the way. <laughs> like 1,000 kilobytes is one megabyte. Now we have storage of like four terabytes in games that are 200 gigabytes. That's wild. Bits and bytes can form more than just alphabetic characters. Strings of bits can correspond to a variety of different symbols and processing instructions. For an 8-bit platform, programmers have 256 possible combinations of zeros and ones to work with. For game consoles and computers, the number of bytes represents the system's memory capacity. For instance, if a computer has 64 megabytes of RAM, that means that the computer can handle 64 million bytes of random access memory. In addition to RAM, hard drive space and software storage capacity are also measured in bytes. Now, Army of Chugs, I know that was a lot of numbers, but it is fascinating to learn how these games are made in every single aspect. And, and tomorrow, Army of Chugs, tomorrow, Army of Chugs, we're going to go over something that's very important in today's day and age when it comes to gaming. Before, this was something that in the Sega Genesis era, 
and the Super Nintendo era, even the, the PlayStation 1 era. I wouldn't say until the seventh, the sixth, probably more the seventh generation of video game consoles. People didn't even really uh, worry about this. But tomorrow, we're going to go over Hertz and frame rate. Hertz and frame rate and the importance of that and how important it's become now. It's become very, very important. But Army of Chugs, I am very proud of you. It was great. It was great to see you all today on, on the day where you let your hair hang low. And I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday for more story time with Professor Chugs. Everyone take care. Everyone take care. Everyone have a good one. Did Professor Chugs have his hair down? Professor Chugs had his hair down? He's really, he's really hanging. <laughs> he's really hanging with the crew. My goodness. My goodness. Um, Kez, thank you very much for the 100. Uh, Chugs, Chugs Army, it's quickly popping in to say good day and popping back out again. Have a fun stream. Thank you, Kez. I appreciate that. Chapman, thank you for 42 months at Tier 1. Uh, got some bad news, feeling a little down. I'm sorry, Chapman. Not the end of the world. I'll bounce back. Always do. So happy to be finally home and spending the evening with you and the Army of Chugs. Appreciate you, Chugs. Love you, Melissa. Melissa, we love you too. Um, whatever happened, uh, sorry to hear that you're having a bad day and you got some bad news. Um, we love you. We're thinking of you. Hopefully the stream will help. And Chapman, it's always wonderful to have you in stream. So mwah, nothing but love to you. Thank you so much for 42 months at Tier 1. Thank you, Chapman. Um, okay. Chug's Army. It is time. I am getting my vote in right now. And that is Team Noad all day. All day. But... I do have a song picked out today. I do have a song picked out today. And that song... I, now, I didn't preload it or anything like that. Didn't preload it, but I do have a song picked out. Zanzibar, thank you for the 245. I remember when a megabyte uh, was when a horsefly and a mosquito both got you at the same time. Talk about Hertz. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, okay. So... Let's see if I can find it. There we go. There we go. I found it. I found it. Silver, thank you for the 245 bits. Hey, Chugs. Uh, yay, a non-spoiler stream. I could stick around. It feels like forever. Let's go, baby. Silver, so good to have you here, man. Seriously. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Silver, we're going to be playing this from now on until we beat it. Except for stream 800. That will be voted by you guys. Um, Lopez, thank you for the 100 bits. Happy Hair Down Monday. Today is National Tug of War Day. What was your favorite gym activity in school growing up? Oh, um, God, I used to love to run. I really, really loved um, relay races when I was a kid or the, the mile. I used to love the mile. Um, now, oh my God. <laughs> well, especially now with my ankle. Um, but yeah, I used, to, I used to love relay races and the mile run. Um, that, that was probably my favorite gym activity. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you, Lopez. Thank you, Silver. Uh, okay, so song of the day. Very appropriate today. Very appropriate. Today's song of the day is from a little game called Silent Hill 2. Now, the reason I picked this, well, there's multiple reasons, and I have played this song before for sure. But after we beat Resident Evil Revelations 2, we will have played all the mainline Resident Evil games. Um, and after we beat Revelations 2, and obviously once we finish FF7 Rebirth, when that comes out, and we eventually return to our five-game cycle, um, Resident Evil Revelations 2, because we played through the entire um, canon RE franchise, we are going to start the Silent Hill franchise, which I am so excited about. So, so excited about uh, because I've played the Silent Hill games, but I've never beaten one. Not one. And we're going to start with Silent Hill 1 on the PlayStation 1. Then we're going to do Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, Silent Hill 4. Um, so I'm really, really pumped for that. But one of the most iconic songs in the Silent Hill franchise is the song Promise or Reprise. Um, this is one of the most eerie but calming but beautiful songs 
in Silent Hill, it, to me, in horror games, period. It's it's one of the most popular as well. I'd say it's probably the most popular song from the Silent Hill franchise. Also, quick side note, since we already got some hype in the chat, I, I heard Professor Chugs raised the roof for Korok, or aka hyped up Korok. So thank you, Professor Chugs. Shout out to you. But also, mug of the day. No Celsius today because it's a little bit late, but just one cup of coffee in my Be Fresh Games mug, baby. In my very fancy Be Fresh Games mug. Let's go. Let's go. But, okay. Okay, here we go. So, once again, beautiful song this is. Beautiful song. Uh, cannot wait to play through the Silent Hill franchise, but I'm going to get my vote in. Here we go, Team No Ad. All right. Here we go. Song of the day. We'll see if we get an ad. Whew. Here we go. This is from Silent Hill 2, and the name of the song is Promise. Reprise. No ad, baby. No ad, baby. It's beautiful but eerie at the same time. Sixteen points for Team Ad. Nineteen points for Team No Ad. Thank you very much, Sharpshooter, for the. And thank you for the GGs. Patty, thank you. Isn't this song... Yeah. <laughs> yes, you did in Tiny Lines. I heard he loved it. I heard he loved it. Thank you again. Just so good. It has me so, so excited. To play through Silent Hill. Like, I'm, I'm so pumped. The Like, Silent Hill 2 often is regarded as one of, if not the greatest, psychological horror video games. Um, so I'm really, really excited to go through that franchise. I know before, for a anniversary stream, we did stream a little bit of Silent Hill 1. Um, but that was kind of just to showcase it on a special stream. So we will be starting from the very beginning when we do start that one. Um, also, again, I, I highly doubt this is going to happen because we only have, we only have 10 days. Um, but if we can somehow beat Resident Evil Revelations 2, stream 800, it's going to be its own special thing where we're going to play a game voted by all of you. If I don't think it's possible, but I'm going to attempt, especially because today's stream is not going to be that long. But if I could somehow beat Resident Evil Revelations 2 and Tears of the Kingdom, that would be wild. Um, but the only chance I would have is if I like did zero side missions. Which, to be fair, for Tears of the Kingdom, I have been doing mostly main quest stuff. Uh, but we'll see. I definitely, I definitely think we'll be able to beat um, Resident Evil Revelations 2, though. I definitely think that. Um, okay, let me get caught up here. Um... Uh, Coffin, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. J Money, thank you for 25 months at Tier 1. Link, thank you for 10 months at Tier 1. Kingdom, thank you for 6 months at Tier 1. Loco, thank you for 44 months um, at Tier 1. I have. I have seen... Well, actually, I only saw the first Silent Hill movie. And I actually really liked it. I really liked it. And that song is in the, si the first Silent Hill movie. Um, but that's the only one I've seen. Last, thank you for the 100. I don't know how they, how they managed to make this... Blah. I don't know how they managed to make a song that is so creepy, but so relaxing and beautiful at the same time. That's what I'm saying. It's bizarre. It's so weird. It's like a beautiful song, but it is it is creepy. Also, let me open up the chat here. Boom. Um, once again, first 30 minutes or so of every stream, I have it on sub-only mode as a very small thank you to the subs of this channel. But after that, chat is wide open, so welcome in, everyone. Happy Hair Down Monday. Today is stream at 797 and part 7 of Resident Evil Revelations 2. Um, Silver, thank you for the 245. Silent Hill such a trip. Can't wait. Story in the world are so twisted and weird and I love it. Same. Gonna need some content and warnings on stream before you play them though. I, th I think one will absolutely pop up. For sure. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely in 2. Definitely in 2, giving a warning beforehand. Uh, Death, thank you very much for 8 months at tier 1. Thank you, thank you. Okay. 
gonna turn the TV on. Now, like I said, unfortunately, I can only go for about an hour and a half, at least from now. Um, at least from now. So the stream will be about two hours. But again, thank you very much for being here, everyone. Really appreciate it. I will show uh, Shirt of the Day here in a second. But again, welcome to stream 797, part 7 of Resident Evil Revelations 2. It's been so long since I've played this. I feel like I completely forget how to play. But Shirt of the Day, very appropriate today, Chugs Army. Very appropriate. We are rocking a 25th anniversary of Resident Evil t-shirt today. Very cool. We got all the characters. We got all the characters on here. Um, draw. Draw. Thank you very much for two tier one gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated. All right. All right. Resident Evil. <laughs> yes. Yes. Gosh, we've been playing on PS5 for so long as well. Like, this is... I have this game on my Xbox Series X. But, uh... Between Lies of P and Final Fantasy... And Final Fantasy 16, that was all PlayStation 5. Okay, let's jump in here. Silver, thank you for the 100. Uh, yes, oh man. Dude, Silver. Uh, I'm really, really far in Sea of Stars. I put it on hold because I'm currently playing The Last Faith... On my Steam Deck, um, Silver, and I'm loving it. Just awesome Metroidvania, but Sea of Stars is amazing. Talk about a good soundtrack. Oh my god. And the gameplay is so fun. It's a beautiful game, Silver. Beautiful game. Um, so after I finish up with The Last Faith, I'm going to jump back into Sea of Stars and finish that. But I'm, I'm pretty far, pretty far into that game. That was actually the game that I played when I first got Surgery. Um, that was the only game I played. It was, it was awesome. I, Silver, I'll tell you a, a funny story and then I'll jump into this because I gotta, I can't stream that long. Um, but I remember there was a story where there was this song that was playing in this beautiful, like, waterfall green area. And I had just gotten surgery and I'm sitting there and I'm playing it and this song is playing and I just didn't move and I was just sitting there smiling and Britt walks by and she goes, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, this song, this game. And she just laughed and walked away. But, but I do. I love Sea of Stars. It's awesome. Really, really good. Um, okay. Also, we may have to mess around with the audio. So if it's too loud, too quiet, when we get into it, you guys let me know. We're on episode four, Barry episode, The Mines. I think we're on the last episode. I think there's only four. There might be more. But I think we have, I think we have Barry's episode, and that's it. I, again, I could be wrong though. Skill settings. Do I want to? Upgrade anything? Increases firepower while crouching. Increases firepower for the first shot after changing weapons. speed after evading I mean at this point I feel like I'm so late in the game that I feel like just upgrading some stuff might be a might be worth it to after changing weapons 
See, I feel like that could be crazy too. If I crouch and then switch weapons, I'll do like a ton more damage. And momentarily, momentarily gain invincibility upon crouching. That is not a bad idea either. Do that one. Again, it's been so long that this might be a mistake. Natalia's awareness. Um, yeah, let's upgrade that to... Okay. Okay, so we upgraded a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. But that should all be useful, which is good. So let's... All right, let's jump into it. And when this cutscene plays, uh, this juicy lore cutscene, Chug's Army, let me know um, how the audio Previously sounds. Previously on Revelations 2, someone left a message. Welcome to the Kierling, where all things ah! come to end. Oh, this last episode is good. Speaking. I'm just learning to see a little more clearly. I did what I thought was right. We'll know each other inside and out. Yeah. Sack is gonna pay for what you did. I'll crush you with my bare hands. I'm I'm so glad. I'm so glad that um they play those cutscenes before. I'm so so glad. Episode four, Metamorphosis. Not everyone can see the truth, but anyone can be the truth. Ooh. Ooh. Follow... Let's look for a way down. Follow Alex down. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Silver, thank you for... Uh, Silver, thank you for the hundred. Love the story. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Really deserves the awards. I completely agree. It's an excellent, excellent RPG. Um, Draw, thank you for the hundred bits. Crunkle, thank you for the hundred bits. Oh, same to you. I have I still have not seen Death Island, and same thing, Crunkle. I hear that it's really good. That's been on my watch list for so long. You you saying that this week I gotta watch that. Seriously. Because, Crunkle, I've heard the same thing. I've heard that Death Island is, like, really good. The animated Resident Evil movie. And I think that's a Netflix thing. I think so. But, Crunkle, thank you. And, uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to watch that. Um, okay, that is to crouch, that is to switch, um, that is to switch my weapon, you have no magnum ammo, plenty of handgun ammo. Do that. And I think this is to run. That's to dodge. Y is to switch. What is... I think RB is to... Yeah, I think... Right bumper. Ooh, thank goodness. What a good drop. I think right bumper is to heal. But we got... Yes. Okay, we got at least two shots for Barry's Magnum. Which is which is pretty good. It's been over a month since we've played this. But I've really enjoyed Revelations 2. Ooh. Also, I wish I could see... I don't know what damage I can do. 
but we have a good amount of ooh. We do have a parts box, which is good. We they did give us a really, really great amount of ammo. And we'll stick with this handgun for now. I don't, I don't think I can push her up there. Oh boy, I'm gonna... Oh, oh, awesome, it's right here. Um, Natalia, if you could grab that, that would be amazing. Or wait, is there... Can you see anything? I just thought about that. I just thought about that, because... No. Nothing. Okay, and... Good. Natalia had more disinfectant, but with Barry... Let's read this juicy lore. Oh, right? Oh yeah, right here. Mine worker scribbled note. The poison gas continues to, to be leak, causing it to spread out and become more concentrated. It's impossible to access the underground facility without turning on the ventilation system. Since the ve uh, ventilation system uses up a lot of power, we only turn it on when needed. We just reopened the mines, but they're not going to stay open for long as this, at this rate. If we lose this place, then the island's done for. Ooh, juicy lore. Juicy, juicy lore. And here we go. Here we go. Anti-recoil level two. Ah. Okay, perfect. I want to see what our current setup is. Capacity level two. Anti-recoil level one. Beautiful. And damage level four. Okay, so it's even better with recoil, which I definitely want for the assault rifle. 125. Oh, wow. That is... What do I have here? Damage level one, capacity level one, and daze level one. The Magnum Quick Load Level 1 does so much damage. If I put damage level 4 on that, that would be wild. I could put... No, I can't. I can't. Um... Damage capacity. I could put anti-recoil. Oh, no, I can't. What am I... Then I guess... I'll put it on the... The Magnum. Quick load level one, that level one. I eventually, before I get to a point with a ton of damage. Yeah, 490. Oh, right. That's the shotgun that we haven't been using. An assault rifle, 85. Assault rifle with increased firepower, but limited capacity. I'm going to stick with the current setup I have. And this with the hopes of dazing. One more time. So capacity level two, so it can hold more. Anti-recoil level two, doesn't ricochet as much. Damage level four. Damage level one, so a little increase in damage on the pistol. Capacity level one, a little bit more ammo. There's also the chance to stun enemies with this. The Magnum is quick load and anti-recoil, and this is firing rate. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. 
And I would love to save up some more assault rifle ammo and try to use... The... Pistol as much as I can. Lift activation. This elevator might be our ticket down. Oh, so we have to find it. Okay. I'm a little bit... Nervous. That's a brick. For Natalia. Also, is this worth... Exploring? What's over here? That's a ventilation system. If we can get it working, it might clear out the gas for us. Okay, that's good to know. But I'm guessing this door is locked. No, it's not locked. And we just got a save point. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Let's let's check out this other room first. We probably have to go there. Natalia, do you see anything? Also, I don't like that... Natalia is hurt. I'm... Not sure. It's gotta be right bumper. And we can go in here. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna go back to the other area. If you, <laughs> I'm delaying this so much. But when I, uh, I want to make sure I, I check out all the rooms. So I guess we'll go in here first. Talia, can you grab this? Probably gonna drop that now. Oh boy, this is maybe a huge mistake. Okay. There we go. Duck down. I don't even think we can... There's something ahead. Be careful. Okay, how do I want to do this? Um, I could do this. Oh, boy. Okay. Switch. Oh! What? Barry. You're doing good. Oh. Oh, we took him out. We took him out. We did use a firebomb, but that's okay. Oh. What? Oh my. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. What did that thing chuck at me? Um, Pilgore, thank you for seven months with Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for being here. Happy hair down Monday. Oh man, I'm I'm so intimidated by 
There's something ahead. Be careful. There's so much stuff up ahead. It's... This is... Oh, I can't even... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... There's something ahead. Be careful. That if I go down here, I'm just gonna die. Let me see. I'm gonna experiment with it. Okay. Can you go up this way? Natalia? Oh, okay. She's gonna stay. And I will... Um, switch, and switch, and crouch. Oh boy. Come up here. Oh, oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't... My aim is so terrible, but I do need to heal. I don't even know if I can make it up there. Can I make it up here? Nope. Nope. Can't make it up here. I could run that way. Or can I run that way? I don't even know if I can go that way. Okay, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna run, and if I die, then I die. Locked from the other side. Okay. I think we did... Is there a hole... There is a hole, isn't there? Oh. Run. Run, Barry. Okay, well, how is... How is poor Natalia... But there's poison gas. It's... I don't know if I'm supposed to do this. I I think I may... Oh my god! Run! Get up there! Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Barry! <laughs> Completely brain farted for a second and was like, oh my god, poor Natalia, and then I could just switch to Barry. Okay, we're using ammo. We're using a... Decent amount of ammo. I hope whatever's in this room is worth it. I also... Don't know... Because we could absolutely go that other way, too. I may be making this harder. Maybe at some point... I could turn all the gas off and then this is... Like, a giant waste. There we go. Okay. We got that. Oh, this was... Oh, but that is for... Okay, we could take it in a break. Yeah, I think... This may be... ...is 
is... Okay, put it down. Climb up there, Barry. There we go. There we go. Or maybe this area is always filled with gas. Because it feels like it would be a challenging part. Um, okay. And that. And... This is a cool section. Very, very cool. And now something up here. We got another parts box. Also... Oh! There's Natalia. Yes, yes. Come on, you can make it. I think this was optional. Odorous chemical. Oh, there's something. There we go. What do we got? Some topaz. Natalia, do you see anything else? Or that's a that's a key item. Lift activation key. Oh, I needed... Okay, I did need to go this way. Alright, I, I, I feel better. I feel better. Now, I may have at some point been able to turn the gas off. And maybe that whole thing was so much more difficult because I... I don't know. I don't know. But I'm glad we did it that way. I'm glad we did it that way. We got some juicy lore. Okay. Mine Worker's Diary 1. Written in Russian. February 11th. I'm finally going to get a chance to work for our benefactor down in the mining facility. Going to be rolling in the big bucks now. I had no idea until they hired me, but apparently they're making pharmaceutical products down on the lower levels. You got to have a permit to even go down there. And security seems pretty tight. Must be some pretty important stuff going on down there. March 24th. She's got her own staff working in the research facility, but there are also some of us islanders working for her as well. Everyone who works directly under her gets a nice fat paycheck. The money, the status, who wouldn't want that? But lately, they've been bringing a lot of new people in. They're not particularly smart or useful. It's just they just need, it's just they just need people by the dozens. I've seen a lot of people go in, but no one comes out. I guess there must be another exit somewhere down there, right? I love Juicy. Liddy! Oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Hello, Liddy. Liddy, thank you for the Liddy bomb of 50 tier 1 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. We're just reading up on some juicy... Resident Evil lore. <laughs> Is that that's how it came out? <laughs> I was gonna say, I love juicy Resident Evil lore. I also love Liddy. We all love Liddy. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. Liddy, thank you so much. And here's the lift activation key. Did I just... I'm a little confused, but not in a bad way. Maybe there's no reason to be confused. Maybe I should be feeling great about everything. And I am I am feeling pretty good. Okay. Up this way. Climb up here. All right, Natalia. So why do I even need to go into that other room? That's the thing I'm curious about. I'm going to go and check it out. And see, I also want to go back down and see what this this weapons part. Oh, but yeah, we can literally use this. What the other room is to turn off the gas. That's literally all that was. And I okay. So this this has to be what it was, Liddy. Again, thank you so much. Uh. I just skipped turning off the gas, I think. And just got the activation key. 
But I kind of want to check out the other room. Firing rate level three. I already have a firing rate level three for the sniper. I could do firing rate level three for that, but I think instead I will do firing rate level three for the pistol. We will do that instead. Yeah. We don't have that much magnum ammo. But now I'm so curious. What is... Because we, we could just get out of here. We could just take this elevator. But absolutely, when we first started playing, Barry said, Oh, if we go in this room, we can turn off the gas. But maybe I could save a bunch of ammo. But there also could be items. There also could be items in here. Oh, there's definitely enemies in here. There's a bunch of enemies in here. Yeah, right. I'm... I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm take I'm taking the elevator. If I have to come back into that room, <laughs> then we'll do it. But Liddy, thank you very much for another tier 1 gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. Maybe I'll have to go back there at some point. Or maybe I'm going to I don't want to miss like a gun or anything. But There's also, there's also a, can I go down here? There we go. Okay. I'm going to see what happens. Natalia, you're coming in. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's the gas. Oh. I'm dead. I was so, I was so excited. I thought I skipped an area. I <laughs> Okay, we'll use the activation key. It's, it was a bonehead play. It was a big one. That, that was a big one. <laughs> bonehead is dead. I'm going to gold bonehead myself on that one. I thought I was... I thought I was getting some speed run strats. I thought I was shortening the section. Nope. Nope. Barry said we gotta turn the gas off. So you had to go that way. And now I'm... We, we know. We know. I just... Royally messed that up. <laughs> royally messed that up. Uh, okay. Let's do firing rate level 3 for the pistol. Nice. Good fire rate. Good fire rate. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with this weapon setup. Okay. Just trust the process, Chugs. Just climb up here and go into this other room that you really don't want to go into. I don't want to go in this room. It looks like there's so many enemies. 
but we got to do it. And that's the door we got to get to, and that will turn off the gas. So then we can... This this makes so much more sense. It's been it's been a while. It's been a while since I've played. Um, <laughs> Silver. Um, oh, sorry. Omega. Thank you for 27 months at Tier 1. Hey, Chugs. Hope all is well. Congrats on finishing FF16. Currently playing it and loving it. Omega Club, enjoy. It's an incredible game. Absolutely incredible game. Silver. Um, thank you for the 100 bits. That was, that's not true, dude. That's not true. This is an honest mistake, as Swiss would say. Honest mistake. Liddy, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, it looks like... It looks like we gotta go in this room. But we can do it. We already get, we already have one death. One death. Um, can I? The thing I'm curious, there's just so many enemies. And I feel like some are going to wake up. So what I'm going to do... So far, so good. Also, great damage. Let's switch and switch back. Because we get bonus damage that way. There we go. Mm. Who else is walking around? Anyone else? Yeah, there's a guy right under there. But maybe... Switch. Switch. So I did get those bonuses... Where I... Do damage when I switch the gun and am crouched. Liddy, thank you for another Liddy Bomb of 50 more Tier 1 gifted subs. Holy guacamole. Liddy, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness gracious. There's something ahead. Be careful. Yes, there's a bunch of stuff ahead. Okay. Um, there's also an enemy there. See if I can get a headshot here. If. Oh boy. Yep, got him. Yeah, so literally, when crouched and after switching a weapon, there's something ahead. What is Be that? Be careful. Oh, he is definitely awake. We are taking them out slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Um, Liddy, thank you for the 100 bits. Do you even remember how to play any other game than FF16? No. <laughs> That's what I mean. This It's so... I, I mean, I love this game. Don't get me wrong. It'll be great to go back to the five-game cycle. And, oh my god, I can't wait for Rebirth. It's like 10 days away. Uh, but yeah, it is so strange to play something else. It's great, though. It's added a lot of tension added a lot of tension that's for sure who's this there's guy something ahead. yep there's Be a careful. there's a guy over there okay barry we're gonna take it slow and steady am i i'm crouched okay come on oh he's up okay Oh, God. Yeah, there's someone right under us, which there's we're not going to... Be careful. We're not going to be able to take them out. But Barry can maybe take this enemy out. But that's his leg. Yep. Oh, God. There he is. There he is. He's just running into the... 
wall. If I could... Oh! What? How am I... Okay, switch, switch. There we go. There we go. Did the switch. We have a good amount of handgun ammo. Yeah, that guy under there is going to be a huge problem. But, I think I can run down there quickly with Barry and take him out that way. Um, and Jedi guy, once again, thank you for 35 months with Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you. I think as Barry... I'm going to go down here, switch, switch. <coughs> Where is he? Oh my god, wait. Oh, shoot. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, you're okay. There's a- oh, oh, oh. Shoot. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay, there's some topaz. Now, the real question is going to be where the heck we go. I need to... Okay, let me check this door first. Oh. What? 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 Okay, never mind. Nope, go up here. Okay, we can't do that yet. Definitely cannot do that yet. Need to find some area to be able to breathe. Um. I wish I could see a bigger version of the map. My guess is to run down this way. I'm gonna just try it, I guess. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Are we still, we're still dying. We're still dying. We're gonna... Please. Please. Natalia, you're gonna make it? Natalia! Crap. Where? It's gotta be something with this. But they literally were about to... D Let me try this again. Oh, electronically locked. Electronically locked. Okay, so we need to unlock it. I know Barry could probably push that thing. But I feel like that's going to take a while. Electronically locked. What's that? I'm gonna go that way. That's that's the way I'm gonna go. Oh. Is this safe? No, it's not safe. It's not safe. And there was lure in there. Am I still coughing? I am still coughing. Oh my god, we're so done! Oh my god, we're alive somehow. Oh, oh my god.
What? There's a magnum in here? No, no. The python is probably more powerful. Oh man, I am so lost. But we did get a new magnum. And the nice thing is when we go back to the storage unit, um, we can switch that way. So we did get a magnum. I bet we have to push that one thing. That's my guess anyway. That was crazy though. Oh. Okay, run. Here we go. We're running. Is this... Can I? I can. I can. Oh. This maybe is the right area. And we're getting some assault rifle ammo. I missed... There was some... I want to go back and read that juicy lore at some point, too. But we did get this new Magnum... Magnum 2005M. I, I bet... I bet Barry's Magnum's more powerful, but... Um, Liddy, thank you for two more Tier 1 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. I bet Barry's gun... I knew it. Is more powerful. But we can always switch back. A ruby. Uh, we're gonna go in here first. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, I missed. Where is he? Oh. Oh my god. Ouch. Oh, leave her alone. We're dead. Oh god. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm dead. I'm dead. Second death. Second death. Oh <laughs> no. Okay, retry. Retry. Oh man, I think this is the last stage. I'm not totally sure. That's 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 death number 2. Death number 2. Okay, so we know what's coming. I wish I knew how strong this magnum was and if I made a mistake by switching it. But and maybe the exploding bottle would be the way to go. I don't know. But here this thing comes. Okay. And... <laughs> no! Come on. Oh my god, it fell down. Okay, okay, we got it. But that second exploding bomb, 
flew down in that pit. I missed. Okay. Didn't use any assault rifle ammo. We have a good amount of... There we go. We did it. We did it. Um, Liddy, thank you for the 100 bits. It's nice to finally see have some deaths. Sorry, Chugs. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. I told you. I told you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Second try. And two deaths. One by boneheadness. And this, this one was... The enemy just kicked my butt. Just kicked my butt. Um, okay. So we have... But we did it. Thank you for the GGs. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I think to... Can I have this, Natalia? There we go. Give you a little bit more space. And like I said to... One of, oh! One of the most powerful magnums. Difficult to reload and limited customization. Interesting. So that one is actually... Super powerful, maybe. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, we got this. This is reloaded. This is reloaded. One of the most powerful magnums. What? What? What is happening? Oh my god. Are you... Run. Run. Natalia. Hurry. Okay. Okay. Pick this up. Pick this up. And A. Did I turn? Okay, I did. I did. I think I... I did something. And... I would like to make even more herbs. So let's go... This... Now we have 11. Also, we can make an exploding bomb. Oh yeah. Okay, we have a we have a good amount of herbs now. Um Okay. Okay, I think I got to run now. All right, let's go. Run. Run to tell you. Run. Okay. Oh, no. I didn't. Okay, we're going back. I did something. I did something. Oh, be careful. Be careful, Natalia. Um, okay. Okay. Chug's army. Very sorry. Give me one second. I'll be right back. I'll be super, super quick. Um, and then we will continue with a bit more of Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm so pumped to continue this game. We will continue this, uh, this tomorrow as well. But anyway, I'll be super quick. Thank you for your patience. I'll be right back.
Liddy! <laughs> Thank you for another Liddy bomb of... I snuck up on ya. I snuck up on ya. <laughs> Liddy, holy cow. Thank you so much for another Liddy bomb of 50 tier 1 gifted subs. Holy cow! Liddy, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I... Barry, what are we gonna do? We're getting Liddy bombs, there's poison gas everywhere. I'm nervous for Natalia. I, I'm nervous for me. I'm nervous for me. Natalia's been crushing it. Me, not so much. Liddy, thank you for another gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. All right, we gotta run. We gotta just run, I think. Oh, we unlocked that door. That's what we did. That's what we did. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. I panic shoot so bad. Yep, that door is now unlocked. So maybe now. Switch. Switch. Now it will do more damage. Okay, so maybe at this point. We can turn the gas off. Oh god. Rod! There's so many enemies here. Oh. Oh. Okay. I used one to save some pistol bullets. Okay, ton of enemies came out. Okay. Switch. First shot is more powerful. This has got to be the room. This has got to be the room. Yes! This is it. So we were meant, we were meant to do the other room. Later, but we did it early. We got the activation key early. Um, now before, a couple of things I want to do, I think. I think. There we go. Thank you, Sharp. Thank you, thank you. Uh, didn't I get it worked. a... We can get through now. We can get through now. But I do, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and check and see the damage difference in this new Magnum that we got. That has limited customization. But I want to see if it's more powerful than Barry's Python. 1,100 and it has one... Oh my, I am so glad that we found that. So I do want to remove these. So hypothetically, I'm not going to do this now. I'm not going to do this now. But if I were to take off damage level 4. And put that on this. I just bumped my microphone. <laughs> that's wild. Oh, that's so much damage. That is so much damage. 
Um, we are going to remove that, though. We are going to remove it, and I am going to put it back on the assault rifle for now. There is anti-recoil. Oh, anti-recoil level one. We already have that. Uh, quick load, greatly improved reload speed, and anti-recoil. Um... Difficult to reload and limited customization. Okay, so for now, we will put quick load. Um, we can't use anti-recoil level one. On anything. Because you have anti-recoil level two. Yeah, and I'm sticking... I think I'm going to stick with the AK versus this one, even though I think this one is more powerful. Easy to use. I like the idea of it being easy to use. And we haven't found any shotgun ammo, even, even though that would be pretty useful, but we're going to stick with... We're going to stick with this. We're going to stick with this. So, now that... That is unlocked. I do want to go and check the other rooms to see if we can get some more some more items. Um, G Dog, thank you for the 250 bits. It just hit midnight for me, so it's now Tuesday, the 20th of February, with which means it's officially my 25th birthday. So hyped that I get uh, to ring in my birthday with the Chugs Army. G Dog, let's go. Can we get some hype in the chat for G Dog's 25th birthday? That's a huge birthday too. G Dog. I'm glad me and the Chugs Army can be some of the first people to wish you a very, very, very happy 25th birthday. Um, I hope you have the best day ever. I hope you get to spend it with the people you care about. Do whatever it is that you want to do. And seriously, thank you very much for spending a little bit of your special day. Starting off a little bit of your special day um, with me and the Chugs Army. Seriously, G-Dog, we love you. Mwah. Happy 25th birthday. Let's go. Liddy, you and me both. You and me both. Ven, thank you for the 100 chugs. Hope all is well. Same to you, Ven. Sorry I haven't been around much lately. Oh, it's okay. Um, if you're ever looking for a new Metroidvania game to play, I actually just started one, highly suggest um, Eterna Noctis. I'm about eight hours in and I'm hooked. Ooh. Okay, I love a good Metroidvania, so I absolutely will have to check that out. Ven, you probably already know about it, but if you have not played The Last Faith, highly recommend it. It's like Bloodborne-inspired Metroidvania, and it's so good. So, um, Eterna Noctis, I will have to check into. And I, I returned with another suggestion. If you're looking for something to play after this and you haven't, The Last Faith is amazing. Liddy, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You may have already, you may have already heard of it or played it, but just in case. Okay, are there, wait. Oh, did it just, it just maybe took out... the the bottom area so there's there still may be gas up here let's look yeah I'm also curious did the gas get removed in this area no it didn't so okay I would have had to do that regardless and I bet the gas is still going to be here which is a bummer that we're missing. There was some juicy lore over in one of these sections. Oh, nope, it's still there. The gas is still there. Okay, okay. So, yep, Natalia, good call for you just hanging out over here. I don't blame you one bit. But now we can actually take this elevator. And I am reloaded. Oh, 
All right. Natalia. Oh, there you go. There you go. She was excited. She was excited. Okay. Here we go. And now we are not... <laughs> Why does Wesker have it in for you? I don't know. I only talked to her for a little while before I got really sleepy. Alex Wesker. And I guess the answers will have to come from her. This feels like a boss. Oh, maybe not. Ugh. That's one nasty bowl of soup. That is, that's gross. Oh. So I feel like we will definitely be able to beat this game. Um, before stream 800, which is nice. I know we definitely won't beat it today, but we might even beat it tomorrow, because tomorrow I can stream for much longer, which is good. But let's go... No record located. It oh. needs authentication. Guess we're out of luck. I don't think so. Yep. Located. Yep. Granted. Silver, thank you very much for the gift. So thank you. How did you? I don't know. Natalia has access. She's in the records. Who knows what Alex did to her? You've talked enough, old woman. Barry! Thank you, Barry. Die, die, die. Time... That... Is so disturbing. Oh my god. The, her voice, too. That was... these bodies it's thank god Barry is with Natalia yeah look there's just wait what was I oh to vault over um can we go in here Any items in here? I don't see anything, but there is some juicy lure right here. Um, specimen transfer log. Specimen request for cultivation plant. Quantity 70 human. Location industrial zone. Residence in block 17 through 21. Natalia, do you see anything else? Oh my god. All right. Uh. 
Okay. Nice place to set up house. It's like a movie. I wish I could live here. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I've had my fill of mansions. Yes, you have, Barry. What? Barry has been in enough mansions. Oh my god, is this a mansion section? Emblem key. Oh, this is so cool. I love a good mansion mission in Resident Evil. Barry is back in a mansion. Oh, this is very creepy. There's a key. There's an enemy. Um, Natalia, you can grab that tourniquet. Um, let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy. I wonder if we can sneak up. There's something ahead. Be careful. On that enemy. I wonder. He's gonna end up stepping right in front of me. Yep, yep. Okay, going back. Okay, let's see. I think we will... He's trying to walk out of the door, but he can't. I swear he's trying to walk out, out of the door. It sees me. Okay, okay, we used, we used a ton of ammo. But, we fortunately saved up a really, really good amount. Um, okay, so here is this enemy. Also, let me switch so we get that bonus. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. But maybe... Oh, there he is! Oh! Crap, crap. I wasted ammo. But, but I have a hundred... 
100 bullets left. Man, this is tense. This is tense. Okay, let's check out... I want to be able to take my time and explore... a bunch of this mansion. There's something... over here. Topaz, okay. It's so dark in here. Handgun ammo for Barry. Really should try now to use the Samurai Edge. Is this... Gosh, it's so dark. Yeah, now it's this way. So, and we just went to the right. There's like... Probably a whole other side of the mansion. This is such a cool... I, this is my favorite level in the game so far. I love how creepy this is. Oh, God. Where are we? I'm gonna... I'm gonna end up having to use my assault rifle, depending on which enemies are nearby. No one is gonna... Ah, here we go. There's something. Can Barry break this? No. And Italia, do you see anything else? Ah! There's something back here. There we go. We got a tower emblem. We just got a save point. Just got a save point. Silver, thank you for the 100. Why do I get the feeling if you were ever in this situation in real life, you would unload every bit of ammo on the first monster you found? I, who knows? Who knows how they would react in this situation? Very, very possible. Very possible. Okay. I don't like, I don't like that we just got a save point. Not a huge, not a huge fan of that. Which makes me think, well, I mean, I'm happy we got a save point, but scared. Oh, God. Oh, nothing? Okay, empty bottle, and Natalia, you can take the cloth. Okay, can we make another bomb? Yes, we can. Okay. The exploding bottles do more damage. The firebomb bottle has been super useful. But I think I'm gonna take an I think I'm gonna take another exploding bottle. I think so. I know. Needed that save. Needed that save. <laughs> okay. Let's do... Exploding model. Let's do that. And disinfectant. We already have three of those. We'll hang on to this. We'll hang on to this. Alright, let's check out this other room. It's those things. Alex created them. All of them. Hmm. 
Now I know why we got a save point. Now I know why we got a save point. Oh, this is... This is not good. Okay, there is an enemy over there. Oh, an enemy in a... Tube again, and handgun ammo for Barry. Do you see anything else, Natalia? No? Oh, empty bottle. Okay. Wait. So I think we can make another exploding bottle. We could make another firebomb, but this does so much damage. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make another one of those. I'm gonna make another one of those. And let's actually equip the exploding bottle. What do we got? A ruby. A ruby. I so badly, like Silver said. Silver, thank you very much for the gifted sub. I so badly just want to chuck all my exploding bottles at, um... <laughs> at these tubes. Okay. And... Oh, yeah. And Chug's Army, unfortunately, I do have to go very, very soon. Um, but I'm glad that we at least got, a, or we will get a two-hour stream in. But I do have to go very, very soon. Uh, but tomorrow, we will be back on stream probably, probably around 3.30 p.m. Eastern. But I will definitely keep you guys up to date. As far as the start time in the Chugs Army Discord, the Chugs Twitter. But we can definitely do a longer um, Revelations 2 stream tomorrow. For sure. Like, way longer. Report on the Uroboros virus. 1. The Uroboros virus takes root in organic material. If injected into a corpse, it will create a core. And then reorganizes organic material around that core. Thereby reanimating the corpse. 2. The core serves as the control center of the organic growth. Destroying the core will negate the... Reanimations pro reanimation process. Three, its ability to propagate in organic matter is extremely high. Where a sample ever where a sample ever breach the confines of this facility, this island would be turned into a graveyard. Security measures must be enforced to the strictest degree. Figures she would have gotten her hands on Uroboros too. Yeah. And we got the map. Yeah, Alex gotten her hands on everything. This is super dangerous. Oh, and there is... Okay. Give that to Natalia. How's Natalia's... Ah. Yeah, that is pretty... We do have a full inventory... But do I want to make... Mm. Okay, also... Yeah, I don't have a new... Parts box. But I do... I do have to get to an auto save. Let's see, another ruby. Multiple doors. Some more juicy lore. Researcher's journal. 
Starting today, we begin research on the effects of the Ouroboros virus when used with corpses. Every day we receive a great number of corpses are delivered to our doorstep. Uh, Stewart certainly does work hard to ensure we never have a shortage of research materials. We started right off the bat injecting the virus into a corpse. The corpse became reanimated, like some sort of marionette, an aggressive marionette to be sure. It attacked anyone it came in contact with. This line of research is starting to look more and more like bioweapons development. It's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. Um, security card level two is what we need. Is this it? No, that's security card level one. And we got the save point. Okay. Chug's army. We did get the save point. I wish so bad I didn't have to go, but I really do. Um, okay. We found... We found... Or we're on the way to finding Alex. To finding Alex. We're in this cool, creepy mansion area. With a ton of these enemies. Still on the hunt to find Alex. I think, I don't know, we might be able to beat it tomorrow. Because I should be able to stream for like four hours tomorrow, which would be really nice. Um, but Chug's Army, again, thank you very, very, Silver, thank you for the 100 set earlier, but it was nice to be able to hang out for a bit again. Um, I will need to disappear again for Rebirth, so I'll enjoy these streams while I can. Yes, it's great to have you here, Silver. It really, really is. Um, I'm glad you can hang out and watch some Resident Evil for a little bit. That's awesome. And we have the big Stream 800 on Friday as well. Um, but I, I appreciate you, Silver. Thank you. And Chugs Army, I appreciate all of you. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. Um, I know today's stream was a little bit on the shorter side. It was only like two hours. But as we say in the Chugs Army, it's better to be able to stream for two hours than no hours. So this was awesome. Great way to start off my week with uh, Hair Down Monday. I hope it was the same for all of you. But Chugs Army, thank you very much for all the new follows, all the new subs the resubs, the gifted subs, the bits, the raids, but most importantly, thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me. Um, again, Chugs Army, we will be back tomorrow, probably around 3.30 p.m. Eastern, um, for the continuation of a nice four-hour Resident Evil Revelations 2 stream. Maybe we'll even finish it tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know how close we are to the end. I feel like we're pretty close, though. Um... So we'll see how that goes. But I'll keep everyone up to date in the Chugs Army Discord and the Chugs Twitter as far as the exact start time. Um, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let me see who we can... Ooh! Um, let's, let's raid Colt Cabana. Colt Cabana is online right now. He's playing some Fortnite. So if anyone wants to watch Colt play some Fortnite, let's show him some love. Um, but again, Chug's Army, so great to see all of you. Thank you all so much. Mwah. I love you all. Everyone have a great rest of your day slash evening. Thank you for joining me for a little bit of Resident Evil and can't wait to continue this tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe we'll finish it. Maybe we'll finish it. Uh, but Chug's Army, you guys are the best. Good night, everyone. I love you all. Mwah. 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 You're the greatest. Take it easy, Chugs Army. Have a good one, everybody.